you're standing on Linden Valley, which is my father's property. We have three properties in the Harden area. We run about 6,500 acres over the whole lot. About 5,000, obviously, all the difference is, is lease country in two blocks. One is a cropping block, one is a grazing block only. Uh, we basically run all the ewes that we have, which is around about um, 1,300 ewes out at the grazing block. We bring the lambs back here to finish. The other block uh, is a cropping area, mostly wheat and canola, with a little bit of lupins in to boost nitrogen and try and break up the rotations a bit. Well, I think the biggest challenge at the moment is climate change. The main impact is extremes. What do you think, dog? Extreme heat and intensity of storms and um, a general lack of rainfall in the autumn and possibly even the spring. And so I use the tools that I've got available to try and work out how I can best conserve moisture, how I can avoid temperature shock. You know, do I need more shade for livestock? Do I need better water, cooler water? All sorts of you know, issues come up from those, those three main things. It's all about risk. When it comes to climate change with the sheep industry, I think the major issues of profit drivers are going to be the same as ever, and that is stocking rate and growth and the amount of meat you turn off or the amount of wool you turn off per hectare. So we are probably going to move to a feedlot, but the trouble with this area with feedlots is that we get extremely hot days, which are getting worse with climate change, so we can't do that in the summertime, and we're getting storms and bad weather in the wintertime, which is another issue. So we're going to move to an indoor shedded system that'll allow us to take the lambs away from their mothers at weaning, not have to keep the best pastures for them, so therefore we can run more ewes and finish the lambs off in a more consistent manner all year round. So hopefully that will you know, generate profit and prevent some of the effects of climate change. Well, we're using a lot of technological tools and computer programs, yield profit, climate, information coming out of Bureau of Meteorology. On the sheep side, we're using genetics, EBVs or ASBVs. So we use all that sort of technology to try and get timing much better. Um, a lot of the changes we've made have been around um, management and timing. It also allows us to monitor what's going on so we can make better decisions. So if you don't monitor it, you don't know. And also, I, I just think it's um, allowing us to save costs. When the Climate Champions program came up, I thought it's a great opportunity. I've always learned from other farmers. I mean, I find the best way of learning things is to go and look at what other people are doing and view their, their uh, industries. Climate Champions aim to um, really help to transfer and build their own knowledge and capability in this area by adopting the latest R&D. So the, their role is to help um, other producers in their region to adopt um, improved management practices to manage climate change and to also help identify research needs for that particular region um, and help direct res researchers on key areas for future research as well. When it comes to climate change long term, I don't think that there is ever going to be a silver bullet. We're never going to get up one morning and say, well, this is the answer to climate change. It's going to be happening. The question is how fast it is happening and really how fast we're changing. So if you're very conservative and you don't change a lot, then you better hope climate change isn't happening very fast. But if you believe that it is happening, and we are going to have a two degree or a four degree change, then you have to start running and you have to run fast. So therefore you have to be engaged with all the research. You have to be out there supporting your, your industry bodies, encouraging the government to, to take notice of science and, and keep funding research. Because if we lose the race, then we're out of business.